Hey guys, in this tutorial I would like to show you how to make material like this in Cinema 4D and Arnold. All the distortions you see here, they're procedural and were created in uh, Arnold Material Editor. So let's dive right in. This is my scene. It's nothing special just a bunch of spheres in a box, uh, thinking particles with some dynamics in it. If you don't know how to make a scene like this, you can go check out some of the Grayscale Gorillas tutorials. They're amazing and uh, they have plenty of tutorials like this. Uh, but after your geomet geometry is ready, we can start creating materials. So, let's see what exactly happening here. Pretty much every time when our sphere is close to the plane, we use curvature map to uh, tell our texture that uh, in that area we want to wrap it and rotate it. Let's set it up. So first we create Arnold surface, standard surface, and apply it to our floor. Middle click will open the material editor and uh, First, uh, let's create an interesting pattern. I'm going to do it with a ramp RGB. You also can uh, use any image you want. It will work with image too. Uh, setting up type on V. And let's use some of the, some of the existing presets to create our pattern. After you picked your pattern, let's use node UV transform and drop it after our ramp RGB. Holding Alt, I click on this blue square and clicking insert after, pass through. UV transform pretty much transforms our uh, texture in any way and we're going to use it in our distortion. So pretty much what we're going to do, we will tell our texture to rotate around the objects. So for our texture to know where objects are, we need to use Note curvature. Let's bring curvature. And um, let's increase number of samples and play around with the numbers. So Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And let's try to plug it in into our main transform rotate and see what happens. So we already see that something is happening. Some rotation is there, but it's very subtle. And uh, I want it to be much more visible. In order for our rotation to be more visible, we need values more than one. Right now, our curvature is just from black to white, and we need to over override this one as a different number. For this, I use node range and insert it after our cur curvature. So what range does 
it pretty much takes our minimum and maximum and we overrides it with a different number. So let's say I want 10. So my white is now 10 times stronger than it used to be. Let's see how it looks. We already see that our rotation is much, much stronger. And this number now going to drive our rotation. Though, if you will take a look, our rotation is very blurry. And in order to fix it, you need to crank up number of samples and curvature and pretty high number. You can pick whatever number you want, go um, higher if you want. I'll do 30 for now. If you have a bigger resolution, you might go even higher than 30. So we also can use different settings of our curvature to control the look. And after you are happy with your look, what we can do, let me add another, uh, let me repeat my gradient one more time so it, it uh, just have more lines, has more lines. And um, pretty much I think my floor is ready. Let's just put it inside of the material as a base color, make it a little bit more colorful. And now let's set up, let's set up our, our spheres. So let's create Arnold surface, standard surface, and uh, put it in our sphere. I I uh, want my spheres to be random colors and in order to do so I go to utility. By the way, I apply my nodes into the beauty path, beauty port with alt w1. Uh, setting up this mode on flat changing color to object ID and now as you can see our spheres are colorful but I want very particular colors I want not those random colors but particular colors let's say I want my spheres to repeat the same pattern I used for the floor so Let's add, uh, let's take it. And now my spheres matching with the design of the floor. Um, and that pretty much would be it. As I said, for my floor, I used ramp preset but you guys can use any other image it will distort it you can play with more settings like connecting it not with rotate but with scale or position and i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you and see you some other time bye